Hello! Today we're gonna do some serious nibbage, but not the kind that you're used to because there's no Esbury Brown and there's no gourmet pens, gourmet pens, and stuff like that. Uh, even though there was just a little bit. Today is going to be serious nibbage because I just received a surprise parcel in my mailbox and this parcel came from, let me, wait, wait, from Regalia Writing Labs, which is created by Ralph Reyes. Now, I met Ralph uh, last September. He actually came up to Toronto to visit. We went to the um, Toronto Pelican Hub together, and I already knew he was a little crazy, but like in a good way. He's definitely a fan of serious nibbage, like not, not, the, not the video series, like nibs with serious, serious nibs. And um, he basically went back home and went insane and started creating all sorts of crazy nibs, which I think is amazing. Some people think fountain pens are really serious and it's all about like signing your will and being a super professional and doing amazing like fancy professional things. Um, I am not one of those people. I think pens are all about fun. I look forward to playing with different nibs. Like I, I'm the kind of person that I'm not necessarily just about a nice looking pen. Like some pens can be really ugly, but if it has a killer nib on it, I'm totally happy. Now, a couple months ago, I purchased one of Ralph's Trilogy nibs, which is three Jovo nibs stacked on top of each other. Does that sound like a King Eagle? from Sailor, yes it does, except Sailor's not making them anymore, and to be honest, they're not really accessible to most people, not only because they are really hard to find, they are also super expensive. So what Ralph is doing, he is taking Jovo nibs, a lot of us have pens that take number six Jovo nibs, so you can just buy the nib unit, put it in your pen, and you are ready for play! So, <laughs> okay. So as I said, this is the original trilogy nib that I purchased from Ralph. This was several months ago. Um, it, I have it in a Franklin Kristoff Model 66 right now. I just sc screwed the nib unit in. Perfect. Good to go. So what I will show you is that, but also some other stuff. Now, as I said, I received some mailbox goodies. Had no idea this was coming. Um, uh, I will... I, 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 you know, I was planning to do a bunch of videos today, hence all the same clothes, if you're wondering. And as soon as these came in, I was like, damn, those have to go on the list. So let me show you what I received. First of all, it came in adorable little boxes like this. This one even says my name on it, if you can see it. Yep, Aziza Asgarali. It says genuine regalia, handmade for Aziza Asgarali. So cool. But that's not it. I have uh, four boxes of nibs. That's actually just one nib per box, so it is four nibs. Now, if you do not already, I highly recommend you follow uh, Ralph Reyes on Instagram. I will include a link below, and let's get cracking. Let me show you what I've got here. Okay, so I have... Wait, I'm trying to like line them up in my hands, but it's really hard because I'm not very coordinated. So I've got nibs. Yes, wild crazy nibs. So let's go through each one. This one, I already have a trilogy, but I have a trilogy made with medium nibs. This is a trilogy made with broad nibs. Okay, so these are three steel nibs. Let me read you the details of what he sent me because I think that'll be smarter and easier. He says, it is a three layer adjustable line width. It is a custom ebonite feed from the Flexible Nib Factory and it is faceted on four sides to catch the light like a jewel. Oh, let's take a look. Oh my God, it is, it is. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Look at the edges. Oh, that is actually pretty cool. Just a pretty thing, you know, it's all good. Okay, the next thing is um, the sequel, which is a prototype. Okay, so this is this one. Beautiful. I must say that his work on um, modifying nibs has improved tremendously. Not They were never ugly, but of course, as you first begin, things can look a little more rough. This one's a little sharp at the end. I've not had any issues with it, but um, I think the difference is very noticeable. It's improved. 
So for the sequel, this is a prototype gold finish. So it's kind of like a golder nib, golden nib, golder. He says two layer under mounted, inspired by both the Sailor King Cobra and Sailor Cross Concord. It is an extra fine if you write with it like this, like just normally, and it's a double broad if you reverse it, and it also functions as a 180 degree nib, which means, wow, that's really cool. So, um, which means we can write with it like from all sides. Oh, I need some water, my friends. I need some water. I've been talking for hours. Okay, the next one is like every time he makes something, I'm like, okay, could he make it any crazier? And then he does make something crazier. So what we have here is called the Ninth Symphony. You will see why in a second. These are Franklin Christoph nibs. These are the Franklin Christoph music nib in the black shadow finish and they have two slits, three tines, but because he has stacked three of them, we have nine. That is crazy. Okay, so there's nine tines at work here. This is a prototype shadow fire finish, three layer music nib, nine tines, absurdly smooth, wet, and badass. Main purpose is ultimate smoothness. Okay, so, wow. I'm, I haven't even used these yet, so we're going to put them in that pen and see how it works out, but. Um, remember, a lot of these are prototypes, and I might have to tinker a little to make sure I have it set up properly, but that doesn't matter because I just want to show you this crazy stuff. The last one is probably like the most normal of all of them. Ralph offers modifications to steel nibs to give you some flexibility because he's trying to make a modern, flexible steel nib that's accessible to everyone. So this one is... Um, uh, it's just stiff enough for normal writing, like da regular daily writing, but it adds a little bit of, there's a little bit of flex to it if you want to add some character to your writing or just like want to have a softer writing experience just every now and then. So it's a semi-flex. This is not a full modern flex. So, wow. I, first of all, again, Ralph, thank you. I will be in touch with you. You're probably, I'll probably have talked to you by the time you see this video. But um, I'm, I'm grateful that people are, people with skills, talent, and the capability to do this kind of stuff are coming out from all over the place and are doing something really exciting for the pen community, for pen lovers, for nib lovers, for serious nibbage lovers. And I'm, I'm so happy about this because this has been maybe a year in the making. He has gone from learning about pens to like full blown badass creations. So, Ralph, keep it up. Don't stop. And um, let's let's turn the camera down and take a look at how these crazy bad boys write. So, we will see you in a minute. Welcome back to some serious nibbage here. As you can see, we've got a lot of serious nibbage. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to do is show you... First, I'm going to move all these out of the way. I will show you a writing sample of the first nib I purchased from Regalia Writing Labs, which is the Trilogy nib. So let's get cracking. I am not going to write Regalia Writing Labs every time. I'm going to just put Regalia Writing Labs. This is the Trilogy, the original Trilogy with three medium nibs stacked on top of each other. Um, here is how it writes. So if I do upside down, it does work. It gives a really fine line, as you can obviously tell. If I flip it over and write at my normal angle, this is the line I get. Here is what it looks like. So if I write on the let me try to turn it so you can see. If I write really high up, you get a finer line. Lower it slightly, you get a bit broader, and you get the picture, it's just getting broader. It's pretty awesome, right? I mean, this is so much fun. Now, if you want to see what that nib looks like up close, here we go. Really cool. Now, what I'm going to do is change this nib 
I have to take the converter out to make it easier. Um, I just don't want to get ink all over myself. Not that that's usually an issue, but... So it's really easy. I just unscrew that, um, put that there. Now, the next thing I will put in was the new Trilogy nib, which is this one. Super easy. Screw it in place. Put the converter in. Now, I have... Um, just putting in carefully. I have a bottle of ink here, which is the Quasi Hipponoto Hawaii Blue. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the, um, oops, sorry. I'm gonna leave the, uh, what's it called, the body of a pen off because I have three nibs here. So this is the Never mind. I'm gonna put it on. Makes it too hard to write. Regalia Writing Labs. Oh my god, this is wild. I love it so much. This is the trilogy in broad. So let me do the same thing I have just done. Um, holy smokes. Ralph, you are a crazy, insane, amazing genius. This is insane. So I'm writing at my normal angle here. I did dry the nib off after um, pushing ink through. So if we were to look at the capability here, this is the extreme. So let's turn to the side. We will do... Wow. That is... So amazing. Now we look at this nib. He's done a great job. It's clean. It's really tidy. Um, from what I recall, I can also write on the sides. That's right. I'm using the sides of the nib. Side. Wow. And it's super smooth. So there is that one. Let's switch to the next nib which is the um, it was this one let me just make sure I have the I, I remember I was doing it in order and um, I just want to make sure yeah this is the sequel okay just making sure I'm doing this in the right order that I showed you originally um, put the make sure I got the converter in here Okay, push some ink through, dry that well. Okay, now the sequel. The Regalia Writing Lab. This is the sequel. Here we are on the regular angle. Here we are on the upside down sides. Okay, so let's just do regular writing before I flip it upside down, which I will do now. So cool. So my regular writing angle looks like this. All right, now we come down here and do some of this stuff. Just check, just checking to see if I write at a higher angle. No, okay, it's the same line. If I flip it over, this is what I get. So, I'm using the sides. That is so cool. Okay. Um, I am amazed. Love it. So amazing. Wow. That's really cool. Seriously, you guys, this is just so cool. I'm so lucky. I am so lucky that I get to do fun stuff like this. And I am so glad that Ralph is insane and he's making crazy fun things. Now the next thing, we are putting in the shadow nib, which is that nine time behemoth thing. Um, wait, let me just um, try and get my converter in here. 
I think with this one, because it has a custom feed, this one needs to be eyedroppered. So I'm going to use, I'm not going to um, put the converter in, I'm just going to dip it. You will just have to deal with the inaccuracy of my dipped nib. Okay, so this is a, holy smokes, this is crazy. Oh my god, this is so crazy, you guys. Okay, so this is the Symphony. I have ink all over myself. Big surprise. Now, let's do this. It is definitely smooth. My regular writing angle basically takes up a full line of writing, which is hilarious. And uh, what did I do next? Okay. Wow. It does, it's not meant to be a reverse writer, just thought I would try it. Wow. Okay, so you can like basically paint your house with this. That's cool. All good. Okay, that's seriously insane. Now, let us switch to the, yeah, screw that, okay. Um, we've got the last one, which is the semi-flex. Now, what I'm going to, oh, this one is not a custom feed. I mean, it is, but it's got a, it's, it's uh, sorry, the same housing. Um, okay, that's in, I'm just talking to myself, and let me turn the page. I don't want to ruin this. Oh, give me one second. I'm just going to tear this out, my fans. Ah! Sorry, just knocking things over. It's all good. Now we have the semi flex. So this is the. Okay, he said Regala, Regalia Writing Labs. Semi flex. No, I've just dipped this. I probably should have pushed the ink through. Sorry. Let me just make sure that. There we go. Just want to make sure that it's got enough ink for flexing. Now, he said with normal writing, it is pretty fine. Sorry, it's pretty fine. Um, here's my regular angle. Now, let's see. Nice. So it's um, got a little bit of flex to it, but it's not super soft. So if you're unfamiliar with flex writing or you just want something to just do something fun like that, um, perfect. I think the sweet spot is a bit lower than what I'm writing at, than what I was writing at, sorry. All right, awesome. That is really cool. Now, the next things I'm gonna show you are, first of all, sorry, the next thing I was supposed to show you, I forgot to show you the nibs. So this was the sequel. You can see the shape there, super interesting. And, uh, no, that was the original. And this was the trilogy and the last one was the semi-flex, beautiful, really nicely done, really clean. Um, the symphony is over here. So you can see what that looks like. That is wild, seriously wild. I can see why this needs a custom feed for it because it's crazy. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you what Kind of like some of the things that inspired Ralph. I happen to have a King Eagle because I bought it years before. And um, he's done a pretty good job of recreating this. So we have Sailor King Eagle. You can also use it 
on the reverse, it's super fine, um, very dry. But you can also use it on its tip, which gives you a nice fine line. Um, So there you go. You see he's trying to recreate this. Doing pretty well, I must say. Next up, I have a Sailor Cross Point. That is the cross point here. It is two nibs. Sailor. Cross Point. Um... Hello. All right, so we do higher angles to lower. You see you get the increasing broad line. Awesome. Now, just for fun, um, I have a Omos triple broad. I think I have it inked. Actually, oh. I don't know if I have it inked. Oh, that's great. It's actually not inked. Sorry. Um, no. Absolutely no ink. Sorry. Um, here's a Pelican Oblique Triple Broad. Now, this is insane. It's a different type of nib, obviously. You can see that it's just like a massive amount of tipping. But if you're looking for something crazy, obviously the Symphony is going to give it a run for its money. Wow. And it's actually accessible. Um, I was going to draw a heart and then that turned into something else. I don't know what it was. Wow. That is insane. Sorry about the triple broad. Um, Omas, it doesn't matter because the Pelican triple broad is broader anyway. So there you have it. Um, just a quick look at these crazy Regalia Writing Lab nibs. Holy smokes, check out Ralph on Instagram. You will not be disappointed. If you are looking for some serious fun, wow, like you can see that this is crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this fun, useful, helpful, entertaining, whatever, I would really appreciate your support if you could like and subscribe and even share the video, that would be awesome. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. Thank you again. Have a lovely day. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.